Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of EVE University, and this is episode 37 of How to Survive EVE Online. Let's get started on the second step of the advanced military chain. So, from the journal, right click, start conversation, close the journal, and the agent wants you to take an Atron and fly it into a pirate base, and everything is going to explode. The agent says something about explosives being on board the ship. That's just flavor text. The mission is just simply scripted to cause your ship to explode the moment you come in contact with the station. Make sure you use a cheap ship, and the Atron she gives you is, uh, is relatively cheap. Of course, she's giving it to you for free. So, accept. Let's close. And... I really didn't discuss... I really didn't discuss uh, the insurance. So let's do that now. We know we're going to lose this ship. Uh, let's right-click, assemble ship, right-click, make active, and I'm not going to bother rename renaming the ship. It's not going to live long. We don't need any fittings on board for this. Also make sure there's no cargo. So go to insurance. Go to tutorial maker Dunahoo's Atron, or whatever the name of it is. It, you didn't rename it, so it should say Player Name Zatron. And click Insure. And Insurance it lasts for about three months. You pay a certain uh, premium. And if it's destroyed during those three months, you get a certain payout. Now, if you're limited to high security player versus environment activities like me, you could go months without losing a ship. So it doesn't. Uh, pay to bother insuring your ships at all because after nine months or so the stuff that you've paid in premiums exceeds what you would possibly get in payout. But we know we're going to blow this one up so go with Platinum Insurance. You also want to insure any ship that you commonly use for PvP. Let's undock. We are in space, right click Angel of Mercy, encounter dead space, warp to location. Warp drive active. Now the acceleration gate is only going to admit frigates, it will not admit tech 2 frigates, but expensive pirate faction frigates like the Dramiel, the Federation Navy Comet, and so on also count as frigates. You want to use a cheap tech 1 frigate. So, if any of your buddies who have been playing EVE Online longer than you have gave you a fancy frigate, don't use it for this mission. Use the Atron or whatever cheap Tech 1 frigate the agent gives you. Let's open up the People in Places window. Uh, just have that ready. Left click the acceleration gate and click activate gate. Warp drive active. Click the add bookmark button. Don't give it a name, just wait, don't push OK yet, wait to drop out of warp, wait to drop out of warp now, push OK, because you're not going to have a chance to bookmark later. Left click the Serpentis Stronghold, and click Approach. Basically, you should be able to select the Serpentis Stronghold if you left click any part of the structure. And in a moment, you're going to explode. You should see the EVE mail light blinking. Have the station selected. Left click the station. And when I tell you to keep repeat, click the dock button. Not yet. Not yet. Wait for the EVE mail light to flash. Go, 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 go. So, stuff happened really quickly. What just happened? First of all, the mission is scripted to destroy everything on the grid, including your ship. So it destroys your ships, destroys the pirates, destroys the base, as soon as you come within a certain distance of the base. The mission is scripted like that. And you were waiting 
for your ship to be destroyed before telling your pod to get out of the area. Docking permission requested. Right. Docking requested. Remember, when your ship is destroyed, you're ejected into your pod. So you can still, even if you lose your ship, you might be able to save your clone, your implants. Uh, your medical clone should be up to date, by the way. All don't forget to check that. Make sure your current skill points is significantly under your clone grade. Alright. Now, if you check your wallet and you load the history, you will see you paid a certain amount in insurance, and when your ship was destroyed, you got a payout back. Right-click the agent, start conversation, complete the mission, and if you want to go back and salvage, I hope you bookmarked it before you exploded. Because you normally in situations where you lose your ship, you don't want your pods sticking around for very long. That said, NPCs should not be pod killing you. Right click the Velator. Uh, I'm going to switch into my salvage Velator. And I am going to go back to my bookmark spot in Klalan Solar System. All the mission scenery is gone now that I've turned in the mission, so it should be perfectly safe for me to go back. Let's see. People and places, spot and claw on solar system, warp's location. Warp and you know what? Active. This older bookmark, I should rename it Safe Spot. I'll move it into the Safe Spots folder. And now that I'm actually in warp, I'm going to rename this bookmark as well. Call that a Safe Spot. Drag that into this. Did I put that in the right folder? No, I did not. Let me try that again. You can expand or collapse your folders. You can also right-click a bookmark folder and open group window. And if you're going to move a bookmark into a window like this, um, you have to make sure to drag the bookmark to the title bar of the window. Dragging it to the main area doesn't work. Go figure. All right, I'm going to salvage all the... Did I not turn in the mission? All right, I'll have to figure out later why this acceleration gate is still here. Uh, in the next episode, we will take care of the next step of the mission. In the meantime, thank you for watching.